hi everyone welcome back in today's video so in this tutorial i am going to show you how to take blood correctly the order of blood draw by using the syringe so before you start the procedure what you are supposed to do is you have to gather all the necessary equipment for example you may need a 21 gauge needle for you to attach the syringe to withdraw the blood from the vein okay you will need a blood tube so this is a blood collection tube so you will need a blood collection tube then you will need an alcohol swab so this is an alcohol swab for you to wrap the vein okay you may also need a cotton wool for you to apply pressure on the area where you have given the shot okay you may need a disposable goldfish for you to use as a tinnicle so we shall be using the goldfish to use as a tinnicle okay you will also need a syringe for you to withdraw the blood okay before you start the procedure make sure first you introduce yourself to the patient then you gain concentration to continue for example hi my name is dr daoud i am going to draw a blood so the patient should be concentrated for the procedure before you start then what you are supposed to do is you have to select the best and suitable vein for you to draw blood for generally when we are taking blood we always select the anticubital vein so this is the anticubital vein so as we know we have the basilic vein cephalic vein and the cephalic accessory vein okay usually we always select the best suitable for us to draw that is the anticubital vein so this is the anticubital vein so you have to bulbate first so you have to bulbate the vein before you start so you have to select the best and suitable vein for you to draw the blood okay what you are, then what you are supposed to do first is you have to apply an alcohol swap around the vein so you have to apply an alcohol swap so first you apply an alcohol swaps gently like this so you apply an alcohol swap then you allow the skin to dry first before you start taking the blood you have to apply a tinnicle first so you apply a tinnicle so you apply a tinnicle so when you apply the, the tinnicle then you clean the vein first before you start drawing the blood so you use an alcohol swaps for you to clean the vein so you clean the vein first so you clean the vein first then you bulb the vein so you allow the skin to dry first before you start drawing the blood i hope you can see now the vein is very feasible so this is the anticubital vein that we always use to draw a blood so when you've applied the alcohol is up you allow for some minutes for the skin to dry so that you can start taking the blood gently then what you are supposed to do is you have to get the syringe so you remove the syringe from the manufacturer's packaging then you also get you also get the uh, 21 gate needle so you get the 21 gate needle so you remove the needle from the manufacturer's packaging then you attach into the syringe you attach each into the syringe then you start taking the blood safely so this is how you are going to take the blood so please kindly watch carefully this is the best way of drawing blood it is very simple and effective way which is the safest way of taking or drawing blood from a vein so this is how you are going to do so make sure you prepare your blood collection tube so that you are able to uh, transfer the blood into the blood collection tube so this is how you are going to do so you prepare your cotton wool because you may apply it on the pressure on the area where you have given the shots so this is how you are going to start so this is the vein so this is the vein this is how I am going to start so you, you insert the needle first so when you insert like that you will see a symbol of blood into the hub of the needle then you withdraw the blanja so blood will rush into the a uh, jumper of the syringe 
So this is how we are going to do. I hope you can see. So you pull back the balanje gently like this. You pull back the balanje gently like this. So this is how you are going to draw the blood. Then first what you do, you release the tiny cube. So you release the tiny cube. Then what you are supposed to do, you apply cotton wool on the area where you have given the shot. Then you remove the needle. Then what you do, you attach into the cap of the needle. Then what you are supposed to do is you have to transfer the blood into the blood collection tube. So this is how you are going to do. You open the blood collection tube. Then you transfer the blood into the vacuum container. This is how you are going to transfer the blood. So this is how you are going to transfer the blood into the vacuum container. Okay, so you close the blood collection tube like this. Then you shake it gently. You shake it gently like this. Then after you have done all that. Then after you have collected the blood, then what you are supposed to do is you have to label name of the patient, the date. So you have to label, for example, you get a strabin. So this is a strabin. You can label the blood. So this is how you are going to label. So you have to write the name of the patient. You have to write the age, age of the patient, then the date. Then you have to write the date. So at the end of the session, you have to label the blood collection tube so that you can take it to the laboratories for testing so this is how you are going to take blood the correct way so please guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button like and share and give your comment to this video so thank you for your watching and see you in the next video